Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Freestyle Freddy with Freestyle Living Photography and today I'm going to be talking about the Canon C100 Mark I. So let's go ahead and get started. Why did I buy the Canon C100 Mark I in 2019? Well, the first reason is I didn't have a lot of money and I wanted to get into cinema videography and this looked like the best place to start. So I went ahead and bought it and was I happy with the results? Well, to tell you the truth, I was happy. It was a great camera. It worked for me. I was like, dude, the quality is beautiful. It was better than my mirrorless, my Canon M50. It was beating the quality by like 50% at least. And why did I purchase this? Well, because I was taking on bigger clients, bigger gigs, and I needed something to really match the quality that they were wanting. So I went ahead and purchased this. So what are the upsides about the camera? Well, it's a 4K sensor, but it doesn't shoot 4K. It shoots in 1080p. It downsizes that 4K sensor and turns it into 1080p in camera, which you still get great quality. What I recommend is pairing it with a great lens and you can get some really good shots. The lens that I'm using right here is the Sigma 18 to 35. The other thing I liked about this camera was that it made me look more legit. Ah. <laughs> so why I love this uh, camera for videography was because it had the headphone jack, which I'm able to monitor my sound. What I liked was uh, the different ways to mess with the temperature and it was a lot easier. It was just like right or left and you're able to tweak it a lot quicker. And then also I do like all the preset buttons like right here, right here and right here. Um, those always help me get to the menus a lot faster. So now to talk about the bad things about this camera. One, it's heavy. Two, it doesn't have face tracking. So when I'm doing an interview and the person's moving, I have to just make sure the camera's in the right spot to capture them or else I'm gonna miss some great focus. The other thing about this camera is when I got it, I wasn't used to the menus. The menus were very new. It was very different for me, but was it hard to work with them? Not really, it was very easy. I got around it and was able to make it happen. But if you're coming to this camera, trust me, you're gonna have to get used to those menus because they can get a little tricky. So the thing about this camera is it does have a screen. As you can see, it pops out, there it is. But you can't put it in front. You can't flip it to the front. So you can't do like a vlog style like I'm doing right now. So that's all I gotta say about the Canon C100. It's a great camera still. If you can get it dirt cheap, might as well buy it and shoot some things with it. I shoot a lot of my professional gigs with it. At least I did, I already upgraded. But the quality, trust me, at 1080p, you're gonna love it because people are watching 1080p half of the time on their TVs, they're not even watching 4K. So nobody's gonna really notice. And plus, we all watch stuff on our phones or on our computers. So really, nobody's gonna be like, hey, that's 1080p, that's not 4K. So I recommend just buying it if you're trying to get into cinema and don't wanna spend a lot of money, like 5,000, 6,000, 10, 20. If you're a videographer and you've been looking at these cameras, you know they could get pretty expensive. So go ahead, go with the Canon C100 Mark I. Yeah, you're limited to some things, but trust me, it's worth learning with and it's worth just getting that picture away from your old DSLR camera. So thank you guys for watching my video. You guys stay blessed. Don't stress. Don't worry about the steps. Have faith in Jesus. Peace.